Hello, I'm Gloria Starr, International Image, Etiquette, Communication, and Leadership Coach. It is my great pleasure to share with you today the DVD on color analysis. What makes a great color analysis? How you should do a color analysis and how your clients will benefit from a color analysis. My guest and colleague is with me today, Amy Symington, and Amy is the children's etiquette expert. So let's begin. The color industry started in 1942, and it's a seasonal concept of spring, summer, fall, and winter. And as the seasons change throughout the year, we have many different shades and tints and undertones. And when people dress according to the colors that best suit their skin, their hair, their freckles even, and even the color of their tooth enamel, they will look more vibrant healthy, and simply wonderful. If, on the other hand, you happen to be wearing colors that are not attractive on you and do not work with your natural skin tone, you will look sad, tired, and under the weather, and have a day off work if you really needed one. How effective. That is definitely impression management. Let's begin with the color analysis. And we're going to uh, invite our client into the office, and I would do an introduction. After the introduction, I would take Amy's cosmetics off so I could truly see her natural undertone to the skin, even if she had dark circles under the eyes or freckles. And then I would begin draping and finding out through a process of elimination what works for you and what doesn't. So we are visual learners. We see life in Technicolor. And when you learn to do color analysis, it's a whole new way of actually seeing. So let's begin with the colors from spring. These bright, vibrant, happy colors are the colors we see in a northern springtime. So starting at this end with the ivory white, the uh, camels and the chestnuts and warm, rich brown like the soil as it warms after a cold winter. The aquas and the turquoise is bright, sunny blue skies, new green grass, Granny Smith apples, on into lemon yellow for Scythia and hyacinths, and then we move into the peaches, corals, flamingo pink, which has a slight amount of yellow in it, on into the, the reds that we see in tulips in the spring, and then on into the violets and hyacinths. Bright, sunny, lively, happy colors.